What's up everyone, this is Save Knight, and welcome to another Let's Play series. This game is brought to you by Imagineer Company, published by Imagineer, licensed under ID Software, licensed by Nintendo in 1993. And welcome to Wolfenstein 3D, the first game that actually started the first-person shooter genre. Yes, even before Doom, since they actually made Doom after this. In like 90 something, not whatever year this was. What, 93? I believe it said. Um, you're basically playing the role of a BJ Blaskowitz, Blaskowitz or something like that, a um, World War II um, Special Forces operative who um, got captured by the enemy forces and held captive at Castle Wolfenstein. And uh, your job is to, well, your mission is to actually, um, from what I understand, like, your mission is to, um, escape and take out as many Nazis as you possibly can. I mean, what better reason would there to be, you know, do things, I mean, like, um, I'm not really big on, like, first-person shooters. I have played them before, like this one. I've played Doom. I've played, you know, some of the later ones for, um, like N64, like, you know, like GoldenEye, the world's not enough, etc. Hexen, um, Heretic, and another one I can't really think of right now. And, um, I'm not big on them, but I mean, I will play them just to try them out. I mean, I mean, I get to kill Nazis. I mean, what better reason would I have to want to play this game? I mean, I get to fucking shoot Nazis. Come on. And zombie Nazis, apparently. So that's whatever, I guess. Okay. Press start. They actually set it up to where you can actually use the mouse with the um system because there's an actual like SNES mouse that comes that can um you know be used for games like this. I'll probably Doom as well. Um and um Mostly from like Mario Paint for all this shit like that, but you know, skill hard. Oh, fuck that. Nope, I just think on it easy. Stereo. No, it's fine, I guess. Start. Mission briefing. Blaskowitz. Blaskowitz. Whatever. You've served the Republic well. You're our top operative, a one man strike team. However, infiltrating the Master State will not be easy. Statmeister and his forces are determined to rule the world. Fucking dicks. Your first task. Find and eliminate Hans Gross, Statmeister's most ruthless enforcer. He marshals the forces from the cows outside Dresden. You will have to wade through his crack forces to reach him. Good luck. I've actually played this game before. That was the select button, by the way. I've actually played this before on the um, computer, like way back in the day, when my computer actually came with it by default, which was really fucking awesome. Stop! Is that another guard here somewhere? That is a fucking forgot or something? Nope. Well, this is like severely watered down compared to the, um... This has been like hiding or something over here, you dick. Um, this is like severely watered down from the, um... computer version. I'm gonna explain it in a minute as I kill things. screen I can show you what I'm talking about. Okay, like these for example. Uh, in the computer version, this is the actual like gold uh, eagle thing on top of a um, swastika, which is basically an equal arms cross with each tip of the arm uh, bent at a 90 degree angle. Or did 40, yeah, 90 degree angle. And as you can see on here, it's been turned into just a regular cross. Because we had a, you know, an an issue with like shit like that back in the day. Oh, play that new Wolfenstein that came out like you know a year ago or whatever, and it's fucking swastikas out the fucking ass. 
which is which is kind of not really fucked funny, but like fucked up because the swastika was originally a Eastern religious symbol that symbolized peace and harmony and all that other shit. And then this fuck knocker had um, perverted it and turned it, you know, evil and all that other shit. So you know, fuck him in the face. Um, and this, for example, as well, this was a picture of Hitler. The, the hair was changed from dark brown to kind of like a gray. His mustache was removed, and his red armband with the swastika was removed. Uh, the soldiers actually scream at you in German, and not halt, or stop, or... Like, hold it, or whatever the... Stop! That is like, Achtung! Oh! And oi, stop! and other such Juno... Uh, I'm sorry. Other such, like, Nazi noises that they make. I don't know what kind of noises Nazis make. Ooh, submachine gun, that'll work. Thank you. And just other shit like that. And I actually prefer playing that version better because of that. Now it just makes it seem like they're not even Nazis in this game. They're just, you know... It's just making it seem like they're just, you know, just douchebags. You know? When they are, in fact, Nazis. I guess it would probably help if I actually explain how some of these controls worked. Um, um, A opens the doors. B attacks. Select opens the map. Start us into a damn thing. Now the other buttons do a damn thing. Select gets out of the map. L strafes to the left and R strafes. I'm sorry, strafes to the left and then R to the right. Checking maps again. Oh. And this one is more of a like a. You don't have to get precise with the aiming because um. Well, you just don't. But being limited, you know. See, limited Super Nintendo's. You know, they just use like a general like area of effect. Not general area of effect, but like general like directional whatever. As you can see, I was shooting here, and I was still hitting them over here. So, you don't have to be that exact, you know, as long as you shoot in their general direction, it's going to still hit them anyway. Is there a thing over here somewhere? Yeah. And you also press the A button to trigger secrets, which are usually behind paintings and structures and whatnot. Usually things like this, or things like this, or sometimes curtains. Oh, give me whatever that is. Die Nazi. Okay. I believe in the like original story. Like this one, it just has you, you know, infiltrating them and just you know killing your first guard. But in the computer version, it's actually um you were kidnapped. And I. And I... Come on. Nope, okay. Make me fucking go after you, you dick. You das Wiener Schnitzel. And um, What the fuck am I talking about? Um... Stop! What the fuck I was just talking about? Um. There's another. Okay, yeah, there is. Okay, there we go. It's like, yeah, it's like they're not even Germans. They're just like, just you know, they're not even Nazis. They're just you know, enemy troops. Yeah. So, whatever I guess, you know. Mission 141 complete. Enemies defeated 100%. Treasures collected 100%. Not counting um, treasures, all those little scepter things, and the crowns, and like jewels and shit you find. Not counting like um, weapons or um, shit like that. And secrets, all the secret doors that you actually opened. 
and I think it's like the part time was like a minute, and that's just literally running from front to back without stopping, no secrets, no nothing. I was like, um, no. I'm gonna try to, if possible, uh, excuse me, get a hundred percent run. Not really caring about the time, but getting everything, you know. So there we go. Stage one complete. Mission one, stage one complete. And when we come back, I will take on mission one, stage two. Kill me some more Nazis. Good times. Good times. So until then, this is Save Night with Let's Play Wolfenstein 3D. I'll see you later, everyone. To every buns. Everyone. Bye.